Hey guys, what's up? This is Shirt Talking. Welcome back to my channel. This time we'll be doing a video about the monthly update. Yeah, it's time to do that again. I'll be talking about the characters that I've been investing, the ones that I'm using, the ones that I stopped using. So stay tuned and let's talk about the characters. Claude is on the top because, you know, she was the queen for conquest. I was using her for farming. I got a lot of status with many different characters because of her. So she's my top character right now. Not exactly the strongest one, but the more utility one because of Conquest. And then after Ocelos received her Perfector style, I really like the style. Not just because of the damage, because, well, sometimes the damage may not even be that enough. It's more about her utility, and also how easy it is to program for Halto. If you want her to be a, uh, an AoE attacker, you can program for her. Just be that. If you want her to be a single target damage dealer, you can just program for that as well. It's easy to use this version of Ocelus, and that's the reason why I'm enjoying her so much. And then the other character is Gustav. Yeah, I've been using him more than enough for boss fights because of double flowing slash. We got the Udatra Deluxe version of Gustav and I didn't see as a so impressive upgrade and I'll still be using this version. Yeah, I also don't have that many gems, I have to save them. So, Gustav is very important for the recent content where we had to debuff STR, and I am using him more and more often. I was holding a little because I didn't want to use all my gold pieces on him, but now he's doing more damage than global exclusive Katarina. Yes! If she triggers her passive, sometimes she may defeat him, but Gustav is better for long fights if you want a debuffer. Well, she's only used for damage and Gustav brings more utility, and I'm using him more than her. Now Madeline just keeps being on the top because she's just so easy to use. She's on all of my teams for Colosseum, for Zwig, for uh, Hidden Dojo, for Robin Cup. Well, I'm still a very strong character that I don't plan on removing anytime soon. And now is the <laughs> the favorite character on my list, Mirza. This guy is a beast. He's still not level 50, but I'm training him on Dojo. He will be that soon. Uh, the damage from Steel Blade Light is impressive, it's extremely powerful, and the healing is something that I really like and enjoy right now. I know that there is a risk, he cannot revive allies, but it's a free LP skill, since all healing in this game, at least those that you can target other allies, are based on LP. So Mirza is a new breath of strategy that will be strong for the foreseeable future. Even this guy on Japan now, it's still powerful. And he can also be used for farming because of Stardust Slash. This is my favorite character right now. Uh, Mirza really broke the thing. And then we have Princess White Rose. I'm still using this version of her, the mage version, for some fast clears on turn one. She's still pretty powerful. It's still not exactly the best thing for AoE since she cannot use it three times in a row. But Saber Ray is also very useful for stages where the enemies are weak to slash, and she still proved to be useful. I got her in December, I believe. She's still on the top. Yeah, all versions of Princess White Rose will keep being relevant. One of my global exclusive buffs that really made me impressive is Mei Ling. I still use her a lot. I really enjoy her as well. She buffs Sun, you know. Uh, she has a triple S attack. That triple S attack may not beat some double S attacks like, like Blue with his SS staff. Yeah, she cannot beat him, but it's very close, I think. And once she gets to level 50, she will be even better. But I really enjoy using her since she brings diversity. It's just like having a mini uh, Blue, but with healing. Healing is important. Blue will get healing in the future with his, well, New Year's version. New Year's. In Japan, and that's <laughs> a lot of time to reach that point. Uh, he gets a new style alongside Mirza. Very interesting thing. And then Blue, we were talking about him, still on the top, still on the best powerful characters in the game. If he gets uh, a returning banner, Sumo for him and Bruge, because they are pretty powerful. Even if you don't have the double S staff, get him. It's good. Uh, I got some use of Actor, but only when I didn't have any. Um, need of more damage and just wanted to use someone to stay there and not attack. I really don't think this actor is so strong, sadly. I enjoy actor. You can see it on my background screen. <laughs> but actor is, well, not that good. Uh, he's very well trained, I don't know why. He's here with Sif and I really enjoy Sif. Because Sif is uh, SCR buffer and when I use Dragon Strike, I place her on the back. 
and she buffs the other damage dealers and the other damage dealers may be better because you know we really need characters that can do higher damage in single target scenarios or in moot uh, uh, target scenarios and wave is not so strong it's very limited it's a row attack so if she's buffing she's not doing that much damage but she can be used as the fifth member remember dragon strike only buffs four as a lot so she is the fifth one and for a stage that you don't need healing she just increases the speed of clearing it very nice i really enjoy sith when i want damage she can also do something with um heavy cut no no it's not heavy cut uh i forgot the, the name of the attack let's see she inherits from here cut timber yeah cut timber yeah <laughs> this is not available anymore it was a summer style and then final emperor is proven to have a longer lag than the other double attacker simply because of his pattern it's extremely unique uh two aoe's in a very powerful double attack is something that you cannot compare to anyone even through he's a double heater that could uh you know fit the same strategies well not exactly the same but similar strategies that bucket heal gustav in global exclusive katarina he's a strong heater for turn two or turn three but the thing is, Final Emperor becomes extremely versatile because of the inheritance of Flowering Plume, and I really don't regret summoning for him. I didn't really aim for him because I had way too many slashers, but Hanimo didn't come home. So Final Emperor is really exciting, and if he comes back, you should also summon for him. One of the most versatile double hitters so far. Poka is extremely strong, yet even when using him on a slot that doesn't increase his intelligence, I still use this guy, got him in December. December had so many good units, yeah, Yin, well, one of the best nukers in the game is just that, well, not all enemies are weak to heat, he's just heat and that's it. I stopped using a little of Barthelemy recently because there were not many situations where he was the best decision, uh, a lot of stages weak against Slash, but not many weak against uh, Heat, there was so many boss stages and Barthelemy is not that good for boss stages. He was still useful in Norluge, but not so much. So he's a little behind, but still a very powerful unit. And after him, we have Rock Bouquet, uh, a recent unit, very powerful as well. I have all versions of Rock Bouquet so far. Um, and I really like to inherit this Soul Freeze attack from her A Limited New Year style. Uh, after Soul Freeze, I can use her now in Hidden Dojo just fine. She can replace my Claudia. For that, the same hole, she can paralyze a lot of enemies. Very nice indeed. And let's see if we get to see some others. Galahad, well, Galahad. <laughs> some people got the weapon. I got the guy. I don't regret. I still use him in a lot of different situations since AoE ice is not easy to find. Let's see someone that I may have regret summoning. Let's see. No, no, no. t 60 g is not so strong, even with AoE attacks. Yeah, that's true. It's hard to use t 60 g I should have guaranteed him when I was summoning. I should have aimed for Taria. I even went back to get Taria when I realized that it was a mistake not going for a uh, strong character instead of a favorite. But I love t 60 g man. Uh, the uh, story on the Saga from Chiri Master in the original when I was a kid, I love this character. So, well, it's not that good, I know. It's a character that you can use here and there, but sadly, not a powerful. You just lose potential very soon. Uh, that's Teacher 60G. Then we have Loot here, I don't know why. Ah, uh, Cordelia. I made a review about this Cordelia, and I knew that she was pretty strong, but. Just using her will make you understand how good she is for boss fights. And not just boss fights, and also some stages with not many enemies. Multitrust is an extremely powerful attack when you hit four times. And very cheap for that. But it uses RNG. But even if you ignore Multitrust, Anthology can be spammed a lot. And it's a good damage. Recover HP and she gets more damage alongside the, 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 the new turns. Yeah, every new turn she gets more str but she needs to land a weak attack well you, you only use her for weak attacks and i really enjoy this version of cordelia i used her uh, at least two times for boss fights but we didn't have so many pierce weak enemies so far after i got her so yeah that's it beauty uh, i didn't use her all that much because uh, i think um not many of the boss fights were weak against Slash, and when they were, I prefer to use Dragon Strike, and she's not that good since I need an extra healer, and they are usually used on my fifth slot. That's the reason why I haven't used in Beauty so f much, but I use it in Orluge, and Aerodyne becomes more and more important, because decreasing agility from boss 
that uses spells decreases their accuracy as well, and building is proving to be more and more useful for our boss fights. A very impressive character indeed. And after that, we have... I use this version of Katarina a lot recently. It's funny. Swallow Reversal is a very powerful attack that can be used three times in a three-turn uh, cycle. And uh, sometimes it's even more interesting than Double Crush. Yes, depends if the enemy is a flying enemy because it gives critical damage. And that means that the damage may be similar without spending 10 BP. Very interesting for a Platinum style. Let's return, let's see if there is any character here that I didn't want to summon and end up getting. Mm, not many, not many. Oh, Taria. I really enjoyed this version of Taria. I didn't know that I would enjoy her so much, so I don't regret spending 30,000 K... Uh, 30,000 gems for her. I know it was a bad decision to get T260G instead of her to return and try again, but Taria proves to be extremely powerful if you know how to use her. It's not easy to use her. And I will be making videos about Zwig and other content with her because she makes all these things pretty easy. That's the reason why I got her. I really don't need her because I don't have any problem. I've been out on this stuff for like six months. But I just want sometimes to use a different character. I really enjoy when a character brings something new to the table that no other character can re replicate. Just like Mirza. Yeah. Uh, I still use Rouge, but I use Blue more than Rouge. Yeah, he has a double S staff. If Rouge had a double S staff, I'd be using him more. But the more interesting thing is that he's the only one that I upgraded the skill Vermilion since. So it's now a very powerful attack. I didn't do that with any other attacker. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, B power, yes. Didn't do that with any other attacker because the upgradable skills are not so interesting for me right now. But Rouge was the only one. Uh, let's see if there is some water. I still use Final Empress for formations where I need speed. And the higher style, and if you use her Platinum to increase her STR, she becomes even good. Uh, when I got Final Empress, I was a little underwhelmed by her performance since her damage was not so high. But then after some time farming with the other one to get more STR, she's now dealing very good damage. Sometimes I even inherit Half Moon to have a low BP coast attack. So that I always have enough BP to use Moonlight if I want. Some boss fights, I still use her. Very incredible character. All these characters that I'm talking about, if you see the new returning banners, you should summon for them. Yes, all of them are still pretty relevant. Fuse, I use Fuse all the time. Either for farm, either for insta kill. Uh, I don't regret getting this guy. Very, very powerful indeed. The same can be said for Ray. And Ray is just like Fuse. It, they belong to the same banner. Where is my Ray? <laughs> I don't know where it's my Ray. Ray, here! Here. Yeah. I still use her a lot. Very good character. Now let's talk about the characters that I stopped using. Uh, I don't use Kong Ming. I don't use Azami. I don't use Pierce. I even sometimes use a different element instead of just trying Pierce again because I don't really think it's so uh, good for me. I don't have many good Pierce damage dealers besides Cordelia, I think. Then there is Sophia that is still used. Man, I still use Sophia, a launch character. <laughs> that is crazy. I got on Sanjini, she will be on the top of my boss fights most of the time. Still need some training, I didn't max her yet. Liz is still pretty powerful attacker. And let's talk about Monica. I really don't find much use for this Monica. Even through when I use Stingray, she deals okay damage. The damage is still lacking. I hope that the new version of her brings more power to Monica because... I summoned this version thinking about the future. So, well, one day we'll see her true potential. Julian, I barely use Julian all days because I'm very offensive, but it's not a bad problem on Julian, it's just that, uh, yeah, I prefer the offensive style. Well, after Julian, I still use my <laughs> well-beloved Mayor as a tank. Sometimes I prefer him to Julian, that's incredible. The reason is just that sometimes I prefer to use tanks against status ailments. And the mayor is something that can resist a lot of stuff. Yeah, the mayor can resist a lot of stuff. So after the mayor, let's see who else I'll be using. Some strange characters. I barely use Sarah. I barely use Bunny. I trained Bunny on Conquest, but I don't even know why. I barely use Jen. Even as an opener, I don't find that his play after the first turn is good. Uh, well, if I need a new comfort turn, I still use him. I don't use him Parlier anymore. That's a bummer because the 
Madeline just overcome all of that she can that she can do. And then we have Annie. I still use Any. Uh, the problem is just that her auto play is not that good, but she's pretty strong for a free unit. I still use Muse more than Teacher Yunzin, because Yunzin is all about stun Yunzin now for me. I haven't found another reason to use Thomas like always. I found a reason to return using Fairy. Yeah, I really think that this character is still pretty powerful. And when you compare to the Brownie, Musical Brownie, yeah, she's not as strong as Musical Brownie, but the next best thing. Well, I still prefer Hannibal, but I don't have him. <laughs> uh, a freestyle that is pretty cool is Feion. Yeah, I managed to max him, and I'll use him here and there. I didn't want making everything, but yeah, I suggest you guys use him. I'll be making a review of some of the recent freestyles that I haven't mentioned it too much. Ellen, I don't use Ellen that much anymore. I don't know why, what happened, but it's just that double attackers are getting more damage for me. Even if it's Ellen, if I use the... Reverse Delta attack won't beat the double attacker, so that's why sometimes I just use her for a single target, but most of the time I don't. Heavy Slash is useful, it was useful in Sensei training, but after that, not so much. I was training Joe, yeah, because even as an A style, Joe is pretty good. She heals and debuffs intelligence with a good attack. <laughs> what an interesting thing. Um, Albert, yeah, I used Albert a lot, got him to level 50 because of Victor's Blade. I uh, use him in a lot of farm, even when I'm not using him for insta kill, he's still pretty powerful. Uh, this version of Cat is still pretty useful, but I try to not depend on her too much. I try to bring some dedicators, uh, the buffers like Bed of Bucket Hill Gustav or Onsen Genie now. So she's just like my last resource when I really need another one to increase the chances, but I don't use her much. I still use Judy. Still use her. And that's it, I don't think there's other characters. Let's uh, see if there are characters that were kind of hyped and I stopped using. Um, I don't use Silver. <laughs> I cannot find a reason to use Silver. Uh, I don't have the new Grey, so I don't use him. And Grey is someone that I regret the review I made. I gave him a very low grade, I think it was 7, and I was just kind of criticizing him too much for having only turn 1 damage, but even if you consider only turn 1 damage, he's pretty strong. And even without passives on turn 2 on Mart, his skill is just so powerful that he compensates. Yeah, I missed at that point. And that's it. I don't think there's any other character that I use or summon it for and stop it using. Yeah, there's no... I think there's no... Well, Noral's daughter. I always forget to talk about Noral's daughter because I never find her here. Ah, Subir. I don't use Subir anymore. Used him once in this past month and that's it. That's because Noral's daughter appears like a uh, whale here. <laughs> yeah, I still use her in all of my boss fights. It's even a joke. She makes everything easy. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, guys. I think I talk about all my characters. I didn't talk about Stun Yundin too much, but <laughs> she's almost my boss fight as well. So that's it, thank you so much. What the characters are you using? Uh, what's your opinion on the characters that I'm using? We will be summoning four new banners, we are expecting Matriarch, we are expecting uh, Joe, two very powerful characters that will be used for a lot of people and I'll be talking about them in the future. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see each other on the next one. Bye.